Well, I really did get a kick out of uh, Jacobin today uh, with an article uh, following uh, the Georgia 6th District uh, special election. And uh, it's a kind of fugue that I can appreciate. A well qualified uh, uh, bit of writing. Uh, uh, very sporting indeed. But yeah, I get a kick out of it too because uh, I'm prompted to say simply that uh, uh, in Great Britain and elsewhere, uh, there are many who. Uh, don't uh, specifically reject capitalism as much as they embrace capitalism. Uh, there is in capitalism the, the guile <laughs> that is so amusing for some, represented by people like uh, George Will or... Uh, or uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, another writer, uh, uh, who's on TV sometimes also, uh, oh golly, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, uh, I know it of course, uh, I have seen your moments now all the time, but anyway, my point is, uh, when they, uh, exercise a kind of sleight of hand, they do so in an amusing way. Uh, there's something not uh, particularly amusing uh, by capitalism when it involves uh, tricking people. And it's that sort of sleight of hand that, uh, that uh, many people literally embrace in the sense that they don't reject capitalism's idea of competition with overlapping goals so that fair play is by and large maintained. Uh, they object to those petty people who would simply try to trick each other to get ahead. Uh, it's not a rejection of, uh, of uh, capitalism simply to understand it and have a useful perspective about it to see what it can do and what it can't do, given that people play the game of capitalism differently. Not everybody plays the same way. It's about like comparing one piece played on a piano to another piece played on a piano. Not everybody likes ragtime. On the other hand, uh, they may not like uh, oh, I don't know, uh, Rachmaninoff, uh, or Tchaikovsky. So, uh, you know, uh, if capitalism is the piano, then, uh, today's millennials, I think, don't want to throw away the piano. They just want to listen to better music than some might play. And that's not to say Boogie Woogie or uh, Ragtime on a piano is always bad news. But, you know, a steady diet of peanut butter is sickening. A steady diet of caviar is sickening. Uh, this article by, uh, or for uh, Jacobin, uh, mentions... Uh, if not the latte crowd, then uh, the people who enjoy uh, something a little bit more substantial in a way than uh, Wonder Bread. Uh, I would say this article is a nice meat and potatoes squash casserole kind of uh, writing. And uh, if it were something being played on a piano then I would say, well, now this is worthwhile. But there's a lot of music that is played on a piano 
that some people don't like. So no, I don't reject the keyboard, the piano. Uh, I might prefer certain tunes over others. And I think that there's a growing number of persons who regard capitalism that way. And I might add, uh, there are those who regard uh, uh, Marxism that way or uh, fascism that way. Uh, so that really, uh, I enjoyed the article. But uh, while I can say I get a kick out of reading good writing, well-qualified writing, and want to read more things like what I've just read, uh, and even better things. Uh, and while I'd want somebody to be able to defend this writing as if it were some sort of uh, something similar to a dissertation, I'd want somebody to be able to defend it. Uh, I wouldn't say that it becomes sacred as a result of having been published. On the other hand, I can't use Facebook because people are tampering with uh, my timeline and uh, I might have written something better than rambling on this. Krauthammer, that's what I was thinking of. George Will and uh, Krauthammer uh, uh, represent those who can write uh, without... Uh, uh, bankrupting themselves. They openly admit sometimes that a sight of hand is better than none. Uh, that's like a brand of a, uh, that's like a brand of a uh, uh, play within the confines of capitalism. Let the buyer beware, uh, or let the reader beware, or whatever. Uh, but what I was going to say is, uh, you know, this writing uh, uh, might have uh, prompted me to share this uh, on my timeline with a few comments. Instead of rambling uh, off the cuff a few remarks on YouTube. Uh, it makes me sad to think that uh, that Facebook has uh, done so poorly. Uh, but there's nothing I can do to help Facebook recover. and uh, Maybe they'll recover someday. Uh, but uh, for the time being, I'm just very sad about Facebook and uh, Glad that YouTube has uh, been doing far better. Uh, but then uh, that doesn't mean that uh, YouTube will be able to uh, return to the days when options were more powerful and also avoid the pitfalls they suffered for so long. I don't know what to expect of Facebook. I'd like to think that they will uh, meet their uh, users with uh, commensurate uh, priorities. Uh, uh, it's just that uh, right now Facebook is uh, a wasteland. That can't be said for Jacobin. Uh, uh, they have their good days and their bad days, but uh, that isn't the same as uh, running a service such as Facebook uh, if uh, cheap tricks prevail. Uh, but in a way, you might say, I embrace Facebook as it is uh, with a bit of nostalgia about what it was. 
rather than reject Facebook for what it is in some simplistic way. But I know I can't depend on Facebook. Uh, I'm not called upon to depend on Jacobin, uh, though. It's a different kind of uh, deal. I do admire uh, talent. And I think talent uh, should prevail, but there's no guarantee. There's no entitlement involved, really. Only opportunity. And some opportunities are wasted. And others won't be.